what lies beyond the basic arithmetic operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We'll make the following definition. If I take a factor a and multiply it by itself n times, I can rewrite this in shorthand notation as a to superscript n. We read this as a to power n, and we incidentally define a to power 1 is equal to a. So for example, let's evaluate 5 to power 2 and 2 thirds to power 4. So we'll pull in our definition. Now 5 to power 2 says that we're going to take 5 and multiply it by itself twice. So 5 to power 2 is 5 times 5, and that's the same as 25. 2 thirds to power 4 says that we're going to take 4 copies of 2 thirds and multiply them together, which gives us 16 over 81. It's useful to be able to go backwards. We can express in exponential form 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So we'll pull in our definition. And the thing to recognize here is that we can only reduce something to exponential form if we're multiplying the same things together. So these 2's, there's 3 of them, so we can rewrite these as 2 to power 3. We can't ignore the rest of the expression, this 3 times 3. There's 2 3's, so I can write that as 3 to power 2. Where do exponents fall in the order of operations? The actual answer is they don't. Remember, a to power n is shorthand for an operation. It's not actually an operation. And what this means is that wherever possible, we should rewrite this in longhand. So this 7 minus 3 to power 2, we'll pull in our definition for exponents. 3 to power 2 is the same thing as 3 times 3. And order of operation says do the multiplication first. That's 7 minus 9. And subtraction of integers 7 minus 9 gives us negative 2. This idea that exponents are shorthand is very important for evaluating expressions with signed numbers. For example, parenthesis negative 3 to power 4 versus node parenthesis negative 3 to power 4. My shorthand says that parentheses negative 3 to power 4 is 4 copies of negative 3 multiplied together. That's 81. Meanwhile, this negative 3 to power 4 the 4 is attached to the 3 directly, and so that gives us 4 copies of 3 with the negative out front, and that gives us negative 81. 